Hi, this is Scott Trudeau. This tutorial is about creating a slideshow from your documents. It could be image documents, Word documents, PowerPoint documents. Again, you're going to convert those into PDF and dial in some preferences to create a slideshow from those documents. So how do we do that? Well, using our Adobe Acrobat 11, you can use the same steps in prior versions as well. When you first open up Acrobat, you can choose Combine Files into a PDF. If you don't see the welcome screen, well, you can always choose File and Create and Combine Files into a PDF. Either way, they're going to get you to the same result. So I'm going to choose Combine Files into a PDF. Combine Files dialog box opens. Now's the time to go find the documents that we wish to create a slideshow out of. In this case, I'm going to choose Add Files. And we'll add the files that we want to uh, place into our slideshow. In this case, I have a folder of pictures taken while I was in San Francisco. So I'll select all the pictures. Now you can also choose an entire folder. So in the prior step, I chose to add files. But if I, I could have saved myself some time and just add a folder and point it to the San Francisco folder, it would take everything within that folder. Um, you can select these by dragging uh, your cursor across them by doing Command A if you're on a Mac, Control A if you're on a PC or selectively grabbing them by doing a command or control click. In this case, I'm going to do a command A, control A if you're on a PC, add the files to my combined files dialog box. Now, if you're on prior versions of Acrobat, this is going to look a little bit different. In Acrobat 11, we get this great preview that shows me all my thumbnails right in front of me. At this point, we can rearrange them. Uh, because San Francisco is so well known for the Golden Gate, I think I'll drag the Golden Gate bridge picture to start off my slideshow. Just drag them back and forth, you're ready to go. In older versions, you're going to drag them up and down. You also see some little arrow buttons at the bottom of the dialog box that you can move these up and down as well. Once you have the files sorted in the way that you'd like them to appear in your slideshow, just choose Combine Files. Now remember, this doesn't necessarily need to be photos. They could be just about any digital document that you can convert to PDF. So I'm almost done. Um, Acrobat opens up and it has now created a single PDF that contains pages of all your slides. So you can see each one of these slides here um, is now, uh, or each one of the pictures is now a page within my PDF. So, so when someone views this in full screen mode, and to do that we choose view and go to full screen mode, what we'd like to have happen, because it's a slideshow, and perhaps you want to play this in an event in your classroom at a wedding, you would like the slides to advance on their own, to loop on their own, so you don't have to go and restart the slideshow, and to also have some kind of transition. So in order to do that, we go to Acrobat and choose Preferences. If you're on a PC, that's going to be under File Preferences. So I'm going to choose my Preferences. Uh, the Preference panel opens up, and I'm going to go to my Full Screen Preferences. So on our full screen preferences, we can choose to um, create some slide best practice slideshow preferences. So in this case, I'm going to loop after the last page. So our slideshow will automatically loop. I'm going to advance the slideshow. Instead of every five seconds, I think I'll choose three seconds. And then down below here, we can choose to set up a transition. In this case, I think I'll do a nice dissolve transition or you can have a random transition or a fade transition. And I think I'll change it to fade, why not? When you're all done, click OK. So now we've customized the preferences for our slideshow and we're ready to play the slideshow. To play the slideshow, you simply go to View and then enter full screen mode. Acrobat takes over. We now have this nice slideshow that uh, we'll be able to preview across the um, uh, we'll be able to send people, we'll play it in an event. Notice it's automatically transitioning between slides. We have the great uh, fade effect. And finally, to exit out of the slideshow or to pause a specific slide, you can just click to pause or you can hit your escape key to escape back into Acrobat. So very easy to create a slideshow from digital documents. Just combine them all together into a PDF, update your preference file, you're ready to go. So this is Scott Trudeau, hope you uh, enjoyed the tutorial, for more check out my channel.